Hey guys, how's it going? Um, time for my week two AFL finals preview. So happy, as you can see, I get to wear my Saints ski another week in the finals, get another game day. Um, be interesting to see how we go this week, given we got a couple of outs. Um, we got two big outs, potentially third. Um, seeing that Ben Long's suspension is being fought at the tribunal um, tonight, like this is being filmed on the Monday. So, again, no massive news on how the teams are going to look, but. Man, I'm so excited. Like, we're in, into week two. We're playing Richmond. Um, uh, Bulldogs really took it to us. Um, that was a really good game. Really nervous at the end. I was getting worked up, but I'm happy that we are able to get through. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we go against the Tigers. Um, Tigers will obviously have the, the big inclusion with... Um, oh, uh, name slip in my mind. Um, but it's, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting game. Um, it'll be, it'll be a big, big, solid game. Um, I don't know. It's, we did beat Richmond earlier in the season. Again, both sides were at completely different points than, than we are now. Um, I'm hopeful, but I don't know. It's It's been a dream ride this year. Like I'm just so happy that we made the finals. Like, any, like, and to get that one finals win, like, legitimately anything beyond this is a complete bonus. Um... Like, at the start of the year, if you said that I was going to see the Saints in the finals, I would have grabbed it with both hands and run. Like, given that we've won the first week, we've already beaten Richmond this year. I don't know. It's it's going to be a tough, tight tussle. But um, I think Richmond will just get it. Just. Um, uh, Tom Lynch, um, they're include, will be coming back this week. It's That's going to be a big... Game changer. Um, losing Carlisle, losing Ryder. Um, Ryder was probably close to our best on, if not was our best on against Bulldogs. But hopefully, other boys can lift. Um, so I said, yeah, I think Richmond will just get get over the line against us on Friday, and then on Saturday you got got one of the great great games, uh, Collingwood and Geelong. It's Collingwood did really well to get over the top of the Eagles. Um, I tipped the Eagles. I didn't think they'd get them. But, obviously, I was wrong. Pies got up. Um, this one, I see pretty clear cut. I think Geelong's going to get up and get up well in this one. I don't think it's going to be tight. I think the hard quarantine in Perth and then for seven days and flying back, I think... I just think it's going to take too much out of the players. I don't, I don't see the players winning. I, I see it being maybe a four to five goal game. Um, Geelong getting up big time there. Um, they'll be hurting after last week. I think you can watch for Tom Hawkins to have a big game and, and might even go, might even kick it back this week. I think to make up for last week. Um, but yeah, it'll be an interesting weekend. Great weekend. Um, Again, fingers crossed that Saints can get up. Um, all the best to everyone whose teams are still left. Uh, congrats to Port and the Lions for getting straight through to the prelim. Um, both played really dominant last week. Um, whoever gets through is going to have through this weekend is going to have a tough task ahead uh, in the prelim finals. But there we go. So I've got Richmond and Geelong both winning. Let me know. If you agree with me, disagree with me, how do you see the games playing out, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if, if you enjoyed what you're seeing, like the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn that bell on. Be notified whenever I upload. But most importantly, keep living a great life. Peace.